What's up, guys? Welcome to the Tokiden 2 demo. Hang on, how do I do the the, the thing? Oh, there it is. Uh, there we go. Uh, swipe down. Yeah, yeah, swipe down. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hang on, let me let me wave to. You. Yeah, swipe waving. down to wave. Yeah. yeah, swipe down to wave. Anyway, so yeah, the uh, demo for Tokiden 2 just dropped on PlayStation Store today or this this morning. I don't fucking know. Doesn't matter. Uh, buddy Kyle here, science guy. What's yes, up? you may have. Uh, May have recognized him from before when we played Token. Uh, in addition to that, he's also a soulless scientist on YouTube. Fellow YouTube creator right here. He's uh, currently playing as Ikaruga here. Uh, it's a character that we, that, that, well, he created. And then here's my character that I created. Um, yeah, so, uh, oh, oh yeah, by the way, if you guys weren't aware, the character creation process for this one is vastly, vastly different from the first one. It's much improved, in my opinion. You can do all sorts of stuff. You have like 70 stuff. hairstyles. Yeah, you have like, like 70... noses. Yeah, you have like 70 <laughs> hairstyles, like 50,000 noses, like all the eyebrows in the world. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of... We, we figured out the lobby system. So yeah, there is multiplayer in the demo, obviously. Um, I wanted to take a look at the restaurant and see what that was about, actually. Okay. Uh, tea lady. Yeah. Order food. What do you uh, order food or go to shrine. Okay, so you actually have to purchase the ingredients for it. Okay. I'm assuming we can get those out in the field. I and... presume so. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Another cool thing you can do is um, when you're looking at upgrading things or doing things, you can actually look at the item and see where you get it from. So, like, Oni liver, you have to slay and purify a large Oni. And then, like, vegetables and white rice, you get that at the shop. So it tells you where you actually need to to do the things you're doing. So like Drumble Belly, you gotta slay a Drumble. Spider Leg, you have to slay a Poison Splitter. So it takes a lot of the guesswork out of resource collection, which I am a fan of. Yeah, uh, it's, super it's, like that. Yeah, it's much more simple uh, in comparison to the first game. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a, take a look at a mission. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm using the Sword and Shield. This is a brand new weapon. Um, for the uh, the Tokian two, and uh, I believe that Kyle is using the uh, the the chain whip. Are you using the chain whip? Uh, actually, I am. Uh, I'm rocking the rifle, but I'm ah, gonna switch okay. to chain whip just uh, for. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's up to you, man. Yeah. Um, so uh, I say we just do like show off the new stuff. Yeah, let's just let's show off some of the new stuff. How it? Who the fuck is Gwen? All these other people I haven't seen yet. So so okay. Um, Gwen's the the British girl, the actually, blonde hair, sword and shield. Haven't uh, haven't met up with her yet. I I literally just completed the first chapter and was like, okay, time for multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, that, so, that, that's roughly where I got. Yeah, so that's fine. Um, I like Tokitsu. Chain whip. I like Tokitsu. Um, yeah. But yeah, okay. These are all brand new characters. They they weren't in the first game, um, obviously. Uh, apparently, this game takes place. 10 years or so probably closer to like 12 or 15 years after the events of the first game i'm assuming um we okay in the first game hatsuho ended up doing this thing where she was like lost in time or something like that that's what happened to us yeah so yeah it's, it's basically just a new excuse for us to go to a different village which i'm fine for i'm fine for um we'll get we'll get tokitsugu here and uh sure let's get gwen let's see what gwen's about I haven't seen her yet, but yeah, should be fun. So, uh, first impressions, Kyle. What do you think so far? Um, I'm using a weapon that I did not complete the tutorial for, so I'm oh, excited. Oh, you have to accept the mission. Oh, accept the mission. Oh. You, you gotta accept the mission. The mission you know. Wait, do you want to cancel this mission? No. Okay, here we go. Get out of. All right, let's do this. Sorty, sorty. Okay. All right, so yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't know the menu thingy. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Here is the biggest difference between the first one and this one. This game is open world, from uh, from what I can tell. And I mean, we might be restricted to certain areas, but yeah, open world. Check this out. We don't have to run through some random gate and shit and like yeah, no stop more and running through zones. Wrong button. There we go. You gotta like stop moving to collect, otherwise you're gonna. Gonna dodge. Yeah, so I'm using the sword and shield. It's pretty cool. I'm liking it so far. Look at that water. It's pretty also, sweet. Uh, when you're running, you no longer use up your uh, your focus meter. That's for the demon hand now. Yep. Get fucked up, Drumble. So yeah, another new thing. This right here, the demon hand. It's used as transportation and whatnot. But uh, yeah. 
I, I need to change my settings, actually. I want to make it so that I can only use the right stick to uh, do it. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. System settings, controls, no camera. Uh, is it camera for it? Actually, let me do the same thing. Uh, display, no. Graphical, I don't know why it would be that. System, no, okay. I know that there's a way to make it so that the uh, the left stick doesn't use the... Uh, try control settings and then change target with L aiming. Ah, Turn there it is. Off. There it is, let's, let's do that, okay. So, there we go. So now, yeah, the left stick isn't doing it anymore now, it's the right stick, okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Okay, Sweet. cool. So, oh, what's this green thing over here? Ah. Uh, armored bamboo shoot. I got a rifle butter, 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 butter burr. <laughs> so I'm not sure how long this I'm demo is. Friends. I would imagine we can do the first chapter in multiplayer and that's it, but that's fine. There's just a good good amount of quests. We can get some practice. Oh, binding rope. So. Also, it doesn't show us a uh, time. Oh, here, here's the Age of Peace. Uh, the icon around the uh, mini-map. Oh, that, oh, that's the timer. Yeah. Oh, get fucked up. These two got destroyed. So they changed up how um, the Mitamas actually gain experience. You actually gain experience through purifying, and that goes straight to it, so it's not like after the mission's done. That's how it's done. I, I don't know. It's... it's yeah, like I just I just killed some things and now my uh, now my Mitama just like popped up with a thing that was like, oh yeah, you did things. So I'm like, okay, cool. Not explaining it very well, but just just attack things and kill things and you'll get experience for your Mitama. It's it's just do what you were gonna do anyway. Jesus. <laughs> so we're actually in the age of peace right now, um, which is pretty cool. So now instead of going to a specific place. Um, they're all like mixed together inside this large sandbox. Yeah. Get fucked up! So I still need to learn a few of the, uh, you know, subtle nuances with this weapon, but, um, it's got a lot of DPS from what I can tell. A lot of DPS. So, I think that this little orb thing here, we have to use our, our yeah, we got to use our uh, claws on that, which is fine. So I'm not seeing that little gauge or whatever that I saw before, telling the us unity that gauge. no, 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 not the not the unity gauge, the gauge for like using the uh, the demon hand. So I'm not sure, like, how many times we can use it. It looks like we can just use it as many times as we friggin' want. So, which is pretty uh, cool. Oh no! Get away from me, stupid one. Um, the your yellow meter, like the one below your health. Yeah. Like if you just hold down. Oh, oh uh, I got R2, fucked up. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get you. Yeah. If hold if down you hold, R2. If you hold down R, uh, R2 for the demon hand. You'll start to see the uh, the meter. I think you're supposed to see it deplete when you're trying to do something, or maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I've tried no. doing it. No, I'm not saying that. Because that's your weapon arch gauge. That's that's the same. Also, no eye of truth apparently. Yeah, R three. R oh R three now. Okay. So There's no you... longer options. Yeah. Oh goddamn. Yeah, um, you can actually block with the sh sword and shield, by the way. That was something that uh, you were asking about uh, before, because we weren't yes. super sure. But yeah, yeah, you just do uh, you just do square, tr uh, square X. Like you just hold, hold, hold down both of them. Yep. I think this guy just summoned Oni. Interesting. All things considered, I think R3 actually makes more sense as the Eye of Truth. Oh yeah, no, definitely. I mean, better than hitting options. Let's be real here. Like, the button universally accepted as pause. Yeah, or, you know, options. 
<laughs> yeah. How about that? <laughs> Ooh, Hatsu. Hatsu. She's so cute. I know. She's super kawaii. Super kawaii. Yes. <laughs> so another new thing is uh, the sprinting mechanic, which is L3. Which, uh, uh, what? Okay, so when you grab that, hit triangle to absorb it. Uh, or you can press circle, uh, I'm sorry, not circle, square to throw it at an enemy. It's inside me. <laughs> I don't know what it does. It looks like a it, like, wind. Your weapon yeah, it looks like a wind elemental uh, infusion. Yeah, yeah, it's totally a wind. Yeah, they're elemental like different infusion. colors. Like I, I've seen like a Geo one that's red. Interesting. Interesting. Oh yeah, I should probably look for a shrine to pray at so that way I can get my uh, charges back. Oh well. Okay. I'm just oh, the Eye of Truth boost. no longer uses uh, focus. Oh, sweet. Yeah, and there's like a traditional. No, no, no. There was a traditional health bar when you use the eye of focus before. Oh, it just stops your focus from charging. That's all. Yeah. Also, sprinting stops your focus from charging. So it's just kind of a, a rework of the system, effectively. Yeah. It's all good though. I, I think it's. I think it's better too. Oh yeah, no, it, de it definitely emphasizes um, combat and staying in it, as opposed to, you know, stamina management, Yeah, which is fine. That, that's also, you know, kind of, a, I think, an exciting thing for me, because you may recall <clears> with the first game, I was, like, basically all ranged weapons all the time, and then Naginata every other time. Mm -hmm. So with this one, like the Demon Hand, uh, if you're using a ranged weapon, your Demon Hand can only really be used as an escape, or to reposition yourself. But if you're using a melee weapon, it opens up a lot of combat opportunities. Oh yeah, no, definitely, definitely. And um, that's that's only what we know about the, the demon hand thus far. I mean, it could be there could even be different ones that specialize in different you know uses. But I'm just you know for all we know, I'm just guessing. Here, wait, I'm, I'm gonna be Spider-Man. Hold on. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, rats. You're fucking uh, dead. Our objective? Uh, oh, we have to kill three the uh, three large oni. I think. Okay. Got so distracted, I was running around, <laughs> being all rambunctious and shit. Right, Dude, but this so. is a lot of fun. Yeah. No. I mean, just I'm... running around in the open world. I mean, it, this is gonna make it so that those like trash missions we did before that we like, you know, no one enjoyed doing. Um, yeah. They'll be worth doing, because you know if. If you don't want to, there's a hidden item over here. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, like if you don't want to, you know, just do oh kill, you know, said like ten imps. Okay, cool. Well, we can kill the ten imps, but then we can do other stuff, like in right. the open world. And so far, the map is big. Like if you hit options, you can bring up kind of a like a, a section of it that we appear to have like revealed. It's not super opaque. Yeah. But it kind of gives you a hint of the, the large area you have. And also, I, I presume that depending on the mission, it might start us in different areas of this larger open world. We're not oh, going yeah, to be definitely. in the same kind of area. Oh, wow, because, this like, map is actually really fucking big. And it tells us where, like, the, you, uh, where the Oni are, too. You can see the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's a Geo Pulse. That's that thing. Okay, yeah, no, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I just took a look at the map and... We're basically going around the outside of the map, just running around. So what do you think of the uh, the Chain Whip? I haven't used it yet. Uh, chain Whip, I super dig it. Uh, it's really flashy, okay. and, uh, and I like that. No, I tried to grab one of them, but they were already dead. All right. An AI, uh, they're on top the of purifying. Whip. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Have them, uh... Like, you, you still have a... The uh, your same uh, commands too. Well, that's good. Also, I think I might have just figured out that super sprint thing. Mm, what about it? So, um, do the demon hand, uh -huh. and then how, how did I do it? What are, you, what are you trying to do? 
<laughs> it's uh, okay twice now i've done like a, a super sprint where i had i was you know moving faster and uh when i stopped running i did like a slide I'm trying to figure out how i did that that thing that gwen and tokigitsu just did what this thing yeah yeah what that yeah how do you do it just pu pull back on the stick man <laughs> it stops you no, no. I mean, how, how do you how do you initiate the sprint? Oh, L three. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, man. I hadn't figured that out yet. Yeah. All right, here's a shrine. That's good. Got three of my healing charges back, which is nice. All right. Let's go through open world. So I don't time. think you can attack out of the uh, the thing. I'm trying to attack out of the, the sprint right now, but it's not working. So, you gotta be careful about that. So I'm trying to figure out like the use of some of my attacks. Um, like there's this thing I can do where if I'm using the, the dual sword mode, the offensive stance, and I dodge and then attack, I uh, like drag my blades on the ground, which I would never recommend doing, but <laughs> I, I drag my blades on the ground, and then, um, I mean, maybe it's a proximity thing for attacking, I don't know. I, I have no clue. Everything keeps dying too quickly. You can't, you can't test shit out. <laughs> all the, all the small loney. Here's a geocharge, I think. Uh, yep, yep, that's a geopulse. Pulse. Okay, so grab it, and then I can just fucking throw the fucker. <laughs> that works. Alright, did we hit a dead end? I think we hit a dead end. Yeah. So, yeah, we did. can I lock on to teammates? No. No, I can't. Unfortunate. Time to get the fuck out of here. Gotta go fast! Gotta go fast! <laughs> Gotta go faster, 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 Sonic. Exactly. Alright, so yeah, we gotta go this way. Faster, 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 faster. Back in the planes. Or Machina, Machina. Not really sure. Level up! Okay, cool. So that's a uh, multi-strike hitting kind of a thing. Okay, so that's what that does. Okay, so when I do my little charge attack, or my uh, my dodge and then attack with uh, offensive stance enabled, um, it just automatically attacks enemy enemies that are near me. Oh, which okay. Is, which is pretty cool. Alright. Alright. I'm picking it up. Picking it up. This is why you play the demo, so you can hit the ground running. Exactly. Exactly. So one of the things that I like about the Chain Whip is that uh, it's like melee combat from roughly outside melee range. Yeah. So you're, you're putting yourself in slightly less danger. Putting yourself in slightly less danger. We're slayers, motherfucker. We're all about danger. Alright, so I can't charge that attack. Oh, there's that one. Just wondering about that attack. So, okay, yeah. There was like this Pierce attack that they were talking about in the encyclopedia when I was reading up on it, but, um,. Yeah, I didn't say you had to hold circle. Well, it was a little weird, but whatever. Also, I'm not entirely sure what the gauge is for just yet. I think you fill it up and then you do uh, So I, I think your uh, like your super attack is actually now done by the demon hand. Possible. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Okay. There's that. So after because four... previously you would like use your weapon to you know like destroy a part instantly. I believe now it's the demon hand that does it, but it operates under the same premise. All right, let's try it. Nope, that was my weapon that just killed that thing. Okay, well, maybe we just haven't before. learned the thing with the demon hand yet. But yeah, my uh, triangle circle still did the thing. Okay, I'm picking it up. I'm picking it up. So, getting some versatility with your attacks uh, with the sword and shield is important with this. Because as I do different attacks... Ah, yeah, okay. I got it. So if I go through all the different face buttons with the attack, because um, there's a certain attack that I can do, I think it's called like spring something or other, I don't fucking know. But you hold circle when you're in shield mode, and then you'll go into this low stance, and that uses focus. But if you do your attacks, there's four different attacks you can do. Um, oh, uh, I think we just got a big visitor. Yes, we did. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. I'm gonna fuck you up! Gwen, just running in there all lackadaisical like. So, yeah. Nice. Okay, so, yeah, that, that worked. I don't know how much damage it did, but that's, that's cool. Get fucking stabbed, nerd! What did we break on it? Uh, I can't really tell. Something broke. Yeah, you can do a lot of proper evasion and staying in combat and switching between targets properly with this weapon. I like it. The DPS is strong! Oh my god. It's nice, I like it. It's a, it's a pretty sweet... It's, a, it's got a pretty sweet mix-up of offense and defense. The the two different stances are pretty nice. Oh, there's a uh, thing here. I don't know if you need it, but... Yeah, Yo, these, these AI are just fucking pervasive. They just keep killing everything. <laughs> they just keep running over and killing everything. Dude. We're so getting, after, we're getting so after hitting supplies. options, so we're at the map. You can hit square to yeah, see to, like a larger, more opaque version. Yeah, to expand yeah. it and all that. This is pretty sweet. All right. Hit a lot of hit a lot of you know blank air there with that attack, but that's fine. Um, Not as much as me. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's, it's acceptable for a chain whip. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of room for hitting multiple enemies with the the sword and shield, which is not something I expected, but. There's a lot of fast emphasis on combat with this, and it, I, I like it. It feels good. One thing I've noticed uh, with good. the Matama is uh, that there's no longer that, uh, that five charge uh, thing. You just hold down uh, R1, mm -hmm. and then uh, you don't have to wait to make like anything more powerful. Oh, yeah. I never did that. I never used the uh, Mitama that did that, so... <laughs> I did. <laughs> I didn't. I want to throw this, this ball at something. There's a drumble way off in the distance. <laughs> Fastball <laughs> special! Oh, got it! <laughs> <laughs> I fucked that thing up. It killed it in one hit! Motherfucker just died. <laughs> Get fucking combo wombo son! 
Combo loves Wombo. Do 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 do. Okay, where the fuck are we going? Uh, yeah, we gotta go this way. And the way. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. The Sonic references. Sonic. Yeah, the Sonic references are never gonna go away. Get my fucking stabbed like a gajillion times, Drumble. Oh, yeah. Get penetrated. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. You can't stop me. It's a two-drink minimum, sir. You can't stop me. <laughs> like, next time, or the next mission we do, I almost don't want to include the AI. <laughs> Yeah, you should try out the sword and shield. It's pretty sweet. I'm liking what I'm seeing. So that's a, that's an attack for right in front of you. That's if you need to cover distance. That's if you need to back up and do an attack. And then I think there's a triangle square. Yeah, there it is. I've got this thing. Backstep. Woo! Oh, yeah. Fear, fear my backstep. <laughs> I think I've got something like that, too. Hang on. Yep, there you go. <laughs> and then if you want to it's deactivate that stance, stance, you just hit X while you're stationary. The fucking AI keeps murdering everything! It's like, y'all, purify. Dude, seriously. We're getting so many parts, though. I, I, and, I, uh, I think of, that... Uh, that the is. Yeah, that either means parts aren't as useful, or you need more of them. I set a marker for the Oni. Can you see the marker I set? Is it pointing to it where it is on the minimap? Uh, it shows him marked, but it doesn't show you like the path to get there. Yeah, it, I mean, does it show on the minimap just like an, a big yellow arrow pointing in that general oh, direction? Oh, big yellow arrow? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a mark on the, like, I don't know, 7 o'clock on my minimap pointing me where to go. Probably because you were the one who said it, but it doesn't show it. Yeah, I just just double check and see if you know team stuff is uh, a thing. You would think it does, and I'm kind of surprised it doesn't. Eh, it is what it is. Yeah, the ability to chain targets with the sword and shield is pretty sweet. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. There's a lot of emphasis on mobility with it, which you would expect. I think there's also a counter attack as well. Hang on. Let me check. Wrong, wrong thing. What's up, Brandon? Yeah, demo came out. Came out today. Surprised you uh, didn't already uh, look into it. Uh, they do not have shared waypoints. Maybe they will add it in an update. Maybe? Uh, it, honestly, it's not that big a deal, if I'm being honest. Uh, rainfall, I already do that. Switch stance, got it. Swift needle. Owl blade. Right. What was I looking up? <laughs> I'm not really sure. I can't remember. Uh, oh, right, 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 right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um... Strong posture and strong deflection. Okay, so you grasp your shield and assume a strong defensive posture. By specifying a direction, you can deflect an incoming attack and perform a parry. The assault gauge will fill if successful. I'm not entirely sure what the assault gauge is used for yet. Hang on. Let's see if it just tells me. Stance says, assault gauge. A gauge specific to the sword and shield. It fills when you attack uh, while in a defensive stance. Once it's full, you can switch to the offensive stance, which will boost your attack strength. The assault gauge depletes gradually, and you will lose your fighting spirit once it's empty. Okay, so... Okay, while I'm using defensive stance, the little gauge below my focus fills up. I don't know if you need to have that in order to enable offensive stance see i don't i don't i don't have that so that's probably specific to your weapon no it is it is uh it starts off of the first one story no it doesn't this is a completely separate story takes place 
uh, at least 10 years in the future, if not more. What's this? You're not interactable? How dare you? Oh, well, there you go. Fucking die, nerd! Got it. I was like, there has to be something over here. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're not just gonna give us a fucking dead end. Sweet. There's something here. There has to be something here. Okay, so yeah, we gotta go up here and then take a left at the Geo Pulse. So far, I'm. I was a little apprehensive about the open world, if I'm being honest, but it's pretty sweet so far. They, they really pulled it off. I, I'm really glad it's not super gimmicky like I thought it was gonna be, which is pretty fucking sweet. I almost think that defensive stance might be, it might be better for single targets. I don't know though. All right, so the gauge is full now. If I switch to offensive, st or yeah, offensive stance, will I be? Yeah, I've got more attack. Okay, so yeah, once it's full, it then depletes. I need to put my weapon away. How do I put my fucking also, weapon? Also, you away? on fire? Yes, I know. I need to. I think I. Oh, you know, I. I Stop dropping yeah, roll. There you go. There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. I had to remember how to put my weapon away. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta sprint. When you sprint, it, it puts your weapon away. I got it. It's okay. I got it. Got it. Got it. Let's grab this and absorb it. Okay. And let's run the fuck over here. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Of course, I'll grab that shit first. Geopulses don't last very long. I wonder if there's a way to make it so that they last longer. Either that or they're just really powerful. I have no clue. We, we keep getting them when there's nothing to fight. I know, right? Okay, here's the Oni. And... BAM! Now that my ah fuck you you piece of shit. Now that my gauge is full. Now let's use this. Yeah, fuck you, fuck you. Ran out of focus, that's why I didn't keep up that attack. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's get that focus back. Okay, we're in this shit. Yeah! Okay, I'm picking it up. I'm picking it up and I like it. Feels good. So we're done. Okay, so once you finish the objective, you're, you're done. You just you automatically leave after, you know, X amount of time. Okay, that's good to know. So if we want to, you know, mess around in the open world, we can spend more time, you know, not killing the objective. Ah, you fucker. Why would you do that to me? Alright, cool. Alright, I'm digging it. I am digging it. Feels good, man. Feels good. One of the things, especially, that I like about the open world now, really getting my first taste of it, it, it doesn't feel like, oh, we need to innovate. Okay, open world. Yeah, like, it, like it doesn't just, feel like, like a gimmick. Okay, box, box checked. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, like, it doesn't feel like some, you know, arbitrarily decided upon gimmick. It feels, you know, fleshed out and all that stuff, and oh, items have been delivered to your chest. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so we can access the entire village in multiplayer. It's pretty fucking cool. I'm digging it. Hey, get out of my house. 
Get out of my house. <laughs> Get out of my house. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ladies first, bro. <laughs> You're no lady. <laughs> Ikaruga is. <laughs> yeah. I like okay. how it's still giving Attack, us indicators. Defense, speed and constitution? Yo, we got so much stuff. So much stuff. Let's see. Let's sort it by whatever. I don't even know. Yeah, man. Out of sort. Value. Yeah, dude. We got like all sorts of shit. So I don't know what the saw is. Like, there's a saw, there's weapons, there's armor smithing, and then there's a hammer. No fucking clue what any of that shit means. Anyway, that's gonna do it for that first episode as far as demo coverage. And these these demo episodes are gonna bleed straight into the actual game release uh, episodes. So, um, from this day on, from this day forth, I decree, we shall be having more stuff to do. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth, and I hope you're just as excited as I am for the full release on the 21st of March. Anyway, say goodbye, Kyle. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Alright, I'm gonna take a look at...